I reviewed the current version of the Oral-B Pro 3 series back in September of 2021. In the three years since, it's not been updated. Is it still worth buying in 2024 and beyond? The short answer is a resounding yes. This is still an absolute cracker of a toothbrush and I have little reason not to recommend it to most users. It has the essential features that we look for in an electric toothbrush. It has a two minute timer and a 30 second pacer to help me brush my teeth evenly and for the recommended two minutes. It has a visible pressure sensor to alert me on those occasions I get a bit too forceful with my brushing. I can then take corrective action immediately and prevent any lasting damage being done to my teeth and gums. The cleaning results are fantastic. I feel like I get a deep clean every time. I have no complaints personally. Some may find the cleaning action a little intense if you're used to a manual toothbrush or an electric brush like that from Philips Sonicare. The brushing sensation is quite different, but I have a couple of tips to help with this. The first is to use the sensitive cleaning mode the Pro 3 has. It's slower and more gentle, making for a less harsh feeling on the teeth and gums. The second is to use a sensitive or Sensi Ultra Thin brush head as these have softer bristles than the cross action brush head that is usually supplied. For new users it can take a week or two to desensitize, but you will and the cleaning results outweigh those few days of not being sure about how it feels. The battery life isn't amazing, given that lots of brushes now offer 3, 4 or more weeks of use on a full charge, but it's satisfactory at a little over 2 weeks. It is one of the more noisy brushes at 73 decibels, that I can't deny. It has a mechanical sound to it and isn't to everyone's liking, but it's not a deal breaker for me. And to top it off, it's good value for money. You can expect to pay around £45 on average for the Pro 3, despite the £90 retail price. If you travel occasionally or frequently, I'd suggest buying the variant with the travel case included. It is often known as the Pro 3 3500. Despite the higher retail price of £100, you can normally get it for the same price as the variant without. Even if you have to pay a few quid more, the basic travel case is handy for those nights away. It keeps the bristles protected from damage and dirt, whilst also preventing accidental activations of the brush in a bag. For couples or families, there's also a Pro 3 3900 variant, which includes two brush handles. This package can sometimes be better value than buying the handles individually, but do check the prices at the time of purchase. The technical capabilities and features of the Pro 3 are the same whether you buy the 3000, 3500 or the 3900. The difference is what is in the box, be it a travel case or an extra brush handle. Oral-B has launched a few design editions with more colourful travel cases. These often command an unjustifiable price premium for nothing more than a stylish looking travel case. I'd suggest skipping these unless the price is particularly favourable. The io3 has launched since I first reviewed the Pro 3. It's very similar in a lot of ways, albeit newer with a more modern design. The matte rather than gloss plastic is something I find particularly appealing. The brush motor is quieter and the brushing sensation is less intense. It's got an advanced pressure sensor that shows me when I'm using insufficient as well as the correct pressure rather than just excessive force like the Pro 3. It's quite a bit more expensive to buy and the brush heads are twice the price for no logical reason. The io3 may have advantages but they don't outweigh the cost in my opinion making the Pro 3 my pick. Philips Sonicare's 3100 series is the most equivalent model from a major competitor. They work differently but both clean the teeth really well. The 3100 series looks and feels a nicer brush in my opinion. It's a bit slimmer with a matte finish to the plastic rather than the gloss of the Pro 3. I would also suggest it feels a little less slippy than the Pro 3, despite the fact the Pro 3 has a dimpled texture to the rear of the handle. The 3100 doesn't have a visible pressure sensor but the handle vibrates when it is activated, which for many is a more noticeable alert than the ring of light the Pro 3 emits. A final key difference which some may prefer is the fact that the Sonicare comes with USB charging rather than the two pin stand of the Pro 3. It's a more versatile option that I know many prefer. A few other notable mentions are the Oclean Air 2. This is incredibly slim, lightweight and quiet with a decent battery life but no pressure sensor. 
Ordo Sonic Light is another brush worth considering. It lacks the pressure sensor but has better battery life with USB Type-C charging which feels more future-proofed. And then there is Suri. It's quite a bit more expensive for no better cleaning results but it stands out for a number of reasons. It is a slim, lightweight and quiet toothbrush with a stylish aluminium handle. It has over a month's battery life, sustainable credentials, a magnetic wall mount and one of the best charging travel cases I have used. There are many very good electric toothbrushes available today. One might suit you more than another, but for many people I solemnly believe the Pro 3 is a brilliant choice and remains my top overall pick for an electric toothbrush for those living in the UK and Western Europe. <laughs>